was gonna change for this video. Put something more fitnessy on because this is a more fitnessy type of video. But um, we're in cozy sweater season. It's winter. This is what you're getting. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel, my name's Tiana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you all again. We are talking about one of my favorite things, fitness. If you know someone who's really into fitness, this is going to be the best gift guide for Christmas if you have not gotten them something yet. So, I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if it is. Let me know in the comments down below any other recommendations you would get someone that is into fitness. It's so helpful, especially for other people. Without further ado, let's get into this list because it is pretty lengthy. So the very first gift idea is going to be a water bottle or a shaker cup. The reason why is because a water bottle you can get for anybody. I know myself, I never have enough water bottles. I need one in my gym bag. I need one to bring in my truck. I need one when I'm filming. So definitely a water bottle is great. It also reminds them that they need to drink more water and not just that it is a very affordable gift. A shaker cup is great also because you can't go wrong with a shaker cup. We all need shaker cups. I'm telling you that right now, even if they don't use protein powder, that is still a nice size water bottle or they can put a smoothie in it. So definitely a water bottle or a shaker cup. And if that is not enough for you, you can also just put in little treats. You can get healthy chips to put in there. You could put a protein bar. So there are things that you could put in the shaker cup or the water bottle just to make it a little bit nicer of a gift. But a water bottle or a shaker cup alone is a great gift to get and you can basically get any kind because people will be so happy to have another one the next idea you're probably going to think really this is a big towel now trust me this is something that everybody wants and will use and will need as silly as it sounds yes because i don't know how many times i could tell you my boyfriend people at the gym they always are missing their towels didn't wash the towel they brought too small of a towel so definitely a bigger towel and if you know the person you can always get them a towel that they may like but if you're not sure you could always get like maybe a darker towel so that they could put in their gym bag to bring to the gym trust me on this one it's a lifesaver and they're gonna really really love a nice big towel if you want to put something else with the towel you can always get a pair of like shoes that they could go into the shower with so if you know almost their foot size you could get like a small medium or a large extra large because it is a very, very helpful gift and it's also a very affordable gift and they will use it. I did touch on this a little bit earlier, but this is going to be treats and maybe seasonings. If you want to get someone treats for Christmas, but you don't know what to get them because they are more into fitness and health, you can go to a supplement store and get treats. So they do have like cookies that almost look like Oreos that you can get. They have like Snicker bars that you can get that are healthier, protein bars, protein cookies. You can get so many things, cheese, puffs healthier alternative chips the other thing too is they now have like great seasonings that you can get that are low calories and that maybe are a little bit better for you than normal i actually put this on unsalted tortilla chips that i have because i wanted a little bit of seasoning so i got this one at popeyes and it lasts me forever so if you know kind of what they like you can give them some seasoning but they have so many different kinds they have like donut ones they have like barbecue ones, chipotle, so many different kinds, which is great for everything. So even if you give them a seasoning and you give them maybe a couple protein bars, that is a really, really nice gift. Trust me on that one. The next gift idea is going to be an activewear gift card. Yes, getting clothes for Christmas is great, but when it comes to activewear, that is a whole different situation. Getting active wear sometimes is a hit and miss because do they want seamless? Do they want seams? Do they want high-waisted? extra high-waisted? Do they want a cotton legging or do they want more of a spandexy legging? Do you want a tank top, a crop top, a long sleeve top, a t-shirt? What do you want? So at least this way, if you give them an activewear gift card, they can put that money towards an outfit. A lot of the times we don't know how much to get a gift card for. Personally, I'd say anywhere from like a 20 to 50 dollars is good i mean if you want to give a little bit more you can but that is just a nice range because then at least this way it could cover maybe a top it could cover some socks it could cover if they want to order shaker cup or they could put that money towards a pair of leggings or a hoodie so really 20 to 50 dollars is a pretty good number for a gift card when getting a gift card think about the person so if you know what they like if they love gymshark you can go online get them that gymshark gift card 
you can go online and get them that Gymshark gift card that they would love and they're just gonna put that money towards a pair of leggings. My sister for my birthday actually got me a Lululemon gift card for about $30 and I can't wait to put that money towards a new hoodie. So little things like that, it's a different gift that they're absolutely going to love. If you don't wanna just give them a gift card, you can also get them like socks. As silly as that sounds, socks is something that is perfect to give someone who's into fitness, especially no-show socks. So socks and a gift card is a really, really good gift to give to someone. The next thing is going to be resistance bands. These are absolutely amazing because everybody can and would use them. Whether they use them at the gym, at home, for stretching, these are great. I would highly recommend cloth bands over rubber bands. The reason why is because rubber bands have a tendency to snap or come apart easier than fabric ones. So I'm going to put some on the screen here that are great. I know Lift Conquer has some, I know Randy Kennedy has some, Buff Bunny has some, Gymshark has some, like a lot of people have them. I have one also, but it is coming apart because it is older. But these are really, really good to add to their workout for even the treadmill, if they do workouts at home, even if they want to just do workouts at home, this is great to add to a workout. Go to the gym, it's perfect. Not just that, they're good for like stretching also. If you can't afford a cloth resistance band because they are a little bit more pricey, you can get some rubber ones on Amazon that are affordable and they will last them and do the job. It's just cloth ones are really, really good. The next idea is going to be a foam roller or a massage stick roller. These are so good because even if they have one, I find every single massage roller, foam roller, muscle roller is different and it's really, really good. My boyfriend has like a ball roller, I have a stick roller and two foam rollers and they all do different things and I like to use them all at different times and different places because of how different my muscles are and what they respond to. Getting them like a foam roller or even just something to massage muscles is a really, really good idea. Not just that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg because a lot of the times you can get them on sale or you can just get something that fits your price budget but it's still gonna work and it's still gonna be a very very nice gift getting a gym bag is a very very good idea because trust me so many times my conditioner spills in my bag my soap spills in my bag what do I do I have no gym bag sometimes I end up going to a different gym or I'm traveling or if I want to go somewhere with my dog and I don't want to bring my whole gym bag with me I'm looking for a spare gym bag you can get a simple string gym bag which is still really good because I know when I go for a walk with my dog when I go to the park if I ever go even to a different gym I am looking for just a small gym bag if you don't think a string gym bag is going to be what that person wants. You can get an affordable like Under Armour or um, Adidas gym bag. They're very, very plain, they're very small and you can normally get them on sale. And they're just very, very simple. So you can just get a simple, simple gym bag and it can be kept as a backup, which is great because they will use it for sure. Trust me on that. You can never have too many gym bags. I've got three and I still think I need another one, so. Yeah. So if the person you're shopping for is really, really into supplements, but you don't know which supplements they like, you can always go and get them a gift card. Then at least this way you can go in, get them a gift card and know that they are going to really enjoy it. And if you're not sure again about pricing for supplements, I do find it's a little bit more expensive. So maybe 25 to 50 again is a really nice range because then at least this way they can put the money maybe towards a protein powder or a pre-workout. I'd probably be putting my money towards like protein cookies, protein bars, snacks, because that's how I am. Just letting you know, but I do need a protein powder. So that would be a really good gift card to give someone because supplements add up a lot and having that little bit off or even enough to cover a protein powder it's a really good idea. The other part about that too is there's so many different companies that a lot of us want to try. Like for me example, Women's Best, uh, Stronger Physiques. There's so many places online. So if you know what the person wants to try, like if someone really wants to try Women's Best protein powder, but are maybe not sure, now would be the time to give them the gift card because then at least this way they can try it. And it's a really nice experience for them. So that's a really, really good gift card idea. My next one is a medicine ball. I love these. I have one actually and I'm waiting until I have my own place to blow it up. These are great to give 
someone. The reason why is because they can do at-home workouts with it, they can sit on it, they can gain balance from it, they can gain strength from it. It's a really, really good multi-purpose tool to have. So if you know someone who likes to do at-home workouts or someone who maybe wants to start getting into fitness or wants to build a little bit of strength or balance a medicine ball is a great way to do that. So there's different sizes, different kinds, so you can always find one in your price budget. So the next one is some weights, so that does depend on the person. I am not saying like a Bowflex machine. I am saying to get someone some weights, ankle weights, some maybe one to five pound dumbbells, some plates, some weighted medicine balls. These are great because then at least someone can do an at-home workout if they can't make it to the gym or if someone is looking to get into fitness then at least this way they have some weights to use. If someone has a treadmill they can easily hold the dumbbells while walking on the treadmill so having some at-home weights are very very good and normally you can get them for a pretty affordable price also. Especially if they're looking to get into fitness, start fitness, or if they already do some fitness. At the next one's going to be a blender. I love my blender i have a ninja i got it on sale smoothies are amazing after a workout or before you can make your pancakes in there you can make your protein cookie batter in there a blender is such a good way to go if you're not sure what to give someone who's into fitness because trust me they're going to use it all the time there's so many different blenders out there if you can't afford maybe a ninja like i have you can get a magic bullet which is going to do really really good things too Trust me on this, a blender is such a good gift idea. You can find one in your price budget for sure and it's gonna make them a really, really nice gift. The next one's a pair of headphones. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and get a pair of AirPods, Beats. If you can't afford that, you can't afford that, but those are good headphones also. But listen, okay? I don't know how many times I go to the gym. Well, not now, because mine are broken. But I don't know how many times I've gone to the gym, my headphones have died, and I just wish I had a backup pair. Or I'd go for a walk, and I wish I had a backup pair. So if you're not sure what to get someone, and you think, okay, I see a nice pair of headphones, they're $50, they look good, I think so-and-so would like it, get them those. Because then at least this way they have a backup pair of headphones, they can bring it with them when they go for walks, they can bring it with them when they travel, they can use them and they will use them because trust me, like I said, don't know how many times I go, my headphones are dead. Or at least this way, if their headphones ever break like mine did, then they have a backup. They're not having to worry and wait for a sale. That's, that's me. The next one's going to be like a fitness plan. So a lot of the time you'll hear people say, oh, I really wish I could try Hannah Oberg's diet plan. I wish I could try Randy Kennedy's. I wish I could get this book. I wish I could get this guide. I shouldn't say diet plan. I should say like fitness guide, but you understand what I mean. A lot of the time we hear these and the reason why they can't get it is maybe because they can't afford it, maybe because they need the extra push. So if you know someone who's been really keeping an eye on someone or if they have an influencer who has a guide, that may be the time to purchase them a guide because then at least this way they can try it. They're going to feel good. It's going to be a gift that keeps on giving. So getting them a fitness guide is a really good way to go or a book or sometimes you can even get them like apps. Like I'm currently using my fitness pal, which is going to start costing me money soon. But I mean, if someone were to cover that for me for a year, I'd be so, so happy. But even getting a guide like Hannah Oberg's, I'd be so, so happy. Or even Ran Randy Kennedy's because I always watch them and I would love to have their guide. So just a gift like that could be everything to someone. I get it. I know it's hard to shop for shoe sizes. I know. But if you know the person's shoe size and you have an idea of what they like and you see a pair of shoes that you think they would like, get them. Because at the end of the day, if they can't wear them, let's say for weightlifting, they can wear them when they do cardio. They can keep them as a backup if they want to. I don't know how many times I've forgotten my shoes. I've misplaced my shoes. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But I always wish I had a backup. So an, an extra pair of shoes is a really good gift idea. If they need to stretch like I do, an exercise mat is going to be really, really good. Getting a mat that people can sit on to stretch is a really, really good idea. A lot of the times we don't have time when we go to the gym to stretch. So having a mat at home is very, very convenient. Again, these are very, very affordable. You can get so many different kinds. It's all really up to you on what kind of mat you want to get. 
especially if someone's really into like yoga or if someone likes to do at home workouts these are really going to be beneficial because it's going to be more comfortable to work out on but again for someone who goes to the gym if they don't have time to do abs if they don't have time to do stretching at least they can do it at home on a mat that you got them next up a gym membership this this I was thinking about, I was thinking about including this in here because I wasn't sure, but a gym membership. If you were to get them a gym membership, at least then they have the opportunity to go and try it out. At the end of the day, sometimes some people just need the extra push, some people can't afford it at the time, and some people are just too anxious or nervous to try it out. If you were to get them a month, two months, maybe three, I don't know, it all depends on your budget and the price of the gym membership. But if you were to cover even just a month, at least this way they get the opportunity to try it out, maybe get over their nerves and anxiety. It's also a gift that keeps on giving because they'll continue to go, they'll continue to enjoy it. And it's not just gym membership. It can be a yoga class, it can be a Zuma class, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be just a gym membership, it can be any type of class. Even if it's a class that you go to that you want them to participate in, like if someone were to say, hey, I go to yoga and I got you six free classes, let's go together, I'd say, yes please. If someone were to give me Zumba class, even if someone were to give me like a cross country skiing six session membership, okay, I'd be happy because then I'm still getting some physical activity in. If there's something that involves physical activity that you think they would enjoy, get them a pass, get them some free classes because they're really, really going to enjoy it. The next one, my favorite, massage. <laughs> get them a massage certificate. Now, if you don't know what they need a massage for, just get them a general certificate or you can get them a package if you want to. But a massage certificate for sure because trust me, our muscles are sore, they're tight, they need a massage and it's always nice to get a massage love getting massages so if you want to get someone a massage but you don't know if you want to get them like a back massage leg massage shoulder massage or you don't know what package to get them you can always get them like a 50 and up certificate to somewhere so that they can have their massage covered for them you can go to many places and just say hey i'd like to get a gift certificate for this amount and then when you give them the certificate you can always say here's the prices for a massage i know you were thinking about getting one my certificate can cover x or you could put it towards x y and z this way they have the option to either use the gift certificate on the package you were purchasing for or they can up it and put it towards whatever they would like but as silly as it sounds a grocery store gift card is perfect because trust me food is expensive especially when you're eating healthy so even getting someone a 20 to 50 dollar gift card is going to be amazing because then at least this way your yogurt could be covered your rice cakes can be covered your veggies and fruits could be covered because fruits are so expensive so at least this way some of the food can be covered and they don't have to worry about it so giving a grocery store gift card to anywhere trust me anywhere is going to be very very helpful very thoughtful and they're really going to enjoy it a lot of people have a hard time with the scale trust me i understand why because it's not good to weigh yourself all the time and it's you don't want to make the person feel uncomfortable or nervous because a lot of people do get nervous with their weight but for me and i know a lot of other people i would love a scale that could tell me my fat percentage my bone density my water weight everything like that for someone who would enjoy a scale a scale is a really nice way to go you don't have to get a super fancy one you can just get a regular new scale but again getting them that one that could read them everything and especially like a digital weight they're really going to enjoy because a lot of the times i would also like to keep track of my water weight and muscle just because I want to know what's fat, what's muscle, but it's hard to tell on just a regular scale. So getting them a scale could be something that is great, especially if they don't have one or maybe if theirs is older or if theirs is not digital. The next one's obviously going to depend on your price budget, but a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. I think these are great gifts. You don't need to get them the newest ones if you can't afford it. These are a great option because they can track their fitness and so many other things with it. Using like my fitness pal, I noticed that if I had an Apple watch or a tracking watch, I'd be able to track like a lot more 
precisely and I'd be able to know how many steps I'm taking, how many calories I burned and everything like that. So if you're looking for a very, very good gift for someone and they don't have a Fitbit, an Apple Watch and that does fit in your price range, that's a really, really nice gift. If they already have one, bands. Trust me, watch bands. Those are really, really good ideas too. They're really gonna like it because they can actually switch the band from time to time because they wear it a lot. So if they already have the Apple Watch or Fitbit, you can get them a band. Or if they don't have one, if you have the money for it, you can also get one for them. The next one's going to be meal prep containers. This is a great idea because containers are not much money, okay? You can go get them a big bundle of new containers and they're going to really enjoy that, trust me. You can get specific containers if you want to for meal prepping, but if those are not in your budget because those are a little bit more expensive, then you can definitely go out and just get them containers because containers add up. You like to use your containers to prep your food, to make your food, to batch cook your food. So trust me, containers are a good way to go. You can normally get them in a set. I got a set of like 48 containers for like $20. And if I got that as a Christmas gift, I would be very, very happy. So any type of containers are very, very good because they can put even snacks or their sauces or protein powder, anything in there that they need. My next one is a meal prep bag or a lunch bag. While meal prepping, a lot of the time when we go out in public, it can be hard because one, I can't bring all my food because I don't have a bag to put it in because I can't keep it cool. So if you know someone who maybe constantly brings their food with them, getting them like a nice cooler bag that's not a lot of money or a nice lunch bag that maybe has like insulation or a bag like the Buff Bunny one, that is so, so cool. The Buff Bunny one's like a tote with a slot that you can put your food under and it can keep it like warm or cold. So that's a really good idea thing that I bought myself was $50. It's a huge cooler bag and it is great. It's not stylish. It is bulky and clunky, but at the end of the day, it does the job. So if you could find someone, even just a really, really nice lunch bag that they would like, that's really helpful also because then at least this way they can bring their food with them. So those were all of my fitness gift guide ideas. I really hope this was helpful and you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If there are any other gift ideas that someone who is into fitness would enjoy make sure to leave it in the comments down below because it is helpful and i mean these are not all the gift ideas there's so many gift ideas but these are just general ones and i tried to include some with a lower price point to a higher price point and some in the middle so i really hope that this was good and helpful for you guys make sure to go follow all my social medias they're linked in the description down below make sure to subscribe if you have not i will be doing other gift guide videos and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye.